Hey everyone, in this anatomy lesson, I'm gonna cover the bones of the foot, which make up part of the appendicular skeleton. Now there are 26 bones in each foot, which can be broken down this way. You have seven tarsals, five metatarsals, and 14 phalanges. Now when you combine the bones from both feet, you have a total of 52 bones out of the 206 bones in the average adult skeleton. So 25% of the bones in your body are in your feet. Let's start with the toes and work our way back. The bones that make up your toes are called phalanges, just like the finger bones. And the singular form of that, by the way, is phalanx. There are three phalanges for each toe, except for the big toe, also called the great toe or the hallux, which has only two phalanges. Now your toes, which are also called digits, are numbered one through five, just like your fingers are numbered one through five. The great toe is digit number one, just like your thumb was digit number one on the hand. And it only has two phalanges, a distal and a proximal phalanx. And then the long toe will be digit number two, the middle toe, digit number three, the ring toe, digit number four, and the pinky toe is digit number five. As with the fingers, the phalanges of the foot are named after directional terms. And the distal phalanx is always gonna be furthest away from the ankle. And I have a video on directional terms if you need to refresh on that. But I like to remember this phrase. If you make a pistol with your hand, remember that the pistol is distal to the upper arm. And that helps me remember distal versus proximal. The middle phalanx is gonna be called middle, so that's easy to remember. And then the phalanx closest to the metatarsal is going to be the proximal phalanx. Now let's talk about the metatarsus of the foot, which consists of the five metatarsal bones. The prefix meta means beyond or after, and these bones are beyond the tarsals, which I'll cover in just a moment. And again, these bones are numbered one through five, so they're really easy to remember. Metatarsal number one is gonna be on the side of your big toe. Metatarsal number five is gonna be on the side of your pinky toe. And people sometimes confuse the carpals and metacarpals of the hand with the tarsals and metatarsals of the foot. So just remember the carpals will help you steer your car and your tarsals are near your toes. Finally, we have the tarsal bones, which are those seven bones that make up the tarsus of the foot in the posterior region. And if you ever watch sports, you might have heard of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And that helps me remember that the tarsals are those bones that make up the heel region of the foot, the posterior part of the foot bones. First, we have the talus, which is an ankle bone at the superior portion of the posterior part of the tarsus. And it gets its name from a Latin word that literally means ankle. It articulates or forms a joint with the tibia and fibula bones of the lower leg, as well as other tarsal bones. In fact, you'll notice a little ball-like bony part on each side of your ankle. That's gonna be the medial and lateral malleolus, which is formed by the tibia and fibula bones. Now, inferior or just under that talus bone is the calcaneus bone, which forms the heel of the foot. And this is the largest tarsal bone in your foot. Next, you have the navicular bone, which gets its name from a Latin word that means little ship. And this bone is always located on the same side as your big toe. So always remember that the navicular is on the big toe side. Next, we have these three little bones called cuneiform bones that start on the medial or big toe side of the foot and work their way over in a row of three. And they get their name from a Latin word that means wedge shaped. And the good thing for you as an anatomy student is that, you know, all three of them are named something cuneiform. So if you can just remember your directional terms, which is the first word, you'll remember this bone. So first we have the medial cuneiform. And again, medial means toward the midline of the body. So it's going to be, again, right where your big toe is on that side of the foot. Then you have the intermediate, which means middle, and that's where that cuneiform is gonna be located. And then you have the lateral cuneiform, and lateral means away from the midline or toward the side of the body, which is where that is gonna be located. And on the lateral side of the foot, we have the cuboid bone. As the name suggests, it has a cube shape to it. And here's a quick mnemonic to help you remember the seven bones of the tarsus. Tall camels never consume cubes. And to make this easier, I reduce the cuneiform bones down to just one mnemonic word because lateral, intermediate, and medial 
if you know directional terms by now, you should be able to identify which is which on that. Okay, so that wraps up this video over the bones of the foot. And if you'd like, you can take a free quiz on our website to test your knowledge on this topic. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out if you're studying for anatomy and physiology. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.